Welcome back, printmaking students. It's Professor Mocek in her home studio, showing you that you can do any printmaking that we've been doing or some of the new things you're gonna learn at home. Here I go. I've taken some of that wonderful print paper I let you all take home and I put it in my own sink and I've soaked it for five minutes or so. I'm gonna move it right over here to a nice dish towel that sits on top of my counter and I'm gonna take another dish towel and put it on top of that. And I'm just gonna dampen it, you know, make sure the dampened paper blots a little bit, just like our blotters. Oh, by the way, while that's happening, I wanna show you, you don't have paint, you don't have a lot of ink, let's get creative. What about the Swiss Miss hot chocolate? Maybe a hot, a very strong cup of tea, a little bit of espresso coffee. Oh, what about pomegranate tea? Mustard, a uh, hot sauce. All these things can be inks or paint. And I'll show you something I started to do that way. Back to the paper. I'm gonna take the paper now as if it were blotted at school. And actually I can see there's a little sheen to it, so I'm gonna get a little bit more of that excess water off it. And I'm doing it like this, sitting on the counter. There you go, okay? Other options for wetting your paper, I'll show you in a few minutes. So here we go. Let's take this right over here. And I have pre-done, pre-created with Caran d'Ache watercolor crayons, the ones that you took home with you. If you don't have Caran d'Ache watercolor crayons, you can use watercolor. Even the cheap tin you get at the dollar store or the tubes I sent home with you. The neat thing about this is you can actually paint on your plexiglass plate or you don't have a plexiglass plate, why not use a cookie sheet? What I did is taped out the area size that I want, any kind of tape, masking, this is painter's tape. I finished up my nice uh, little watercolor and it can be dry, you want it dry. That's the beauty of this if you have pre-soaked paper. I'm gonna put that baby right down just like we're used to doing and down it goes. And then what am I gonna do? Well. First of all, I wanna show you, there's another way if you aren't soaking paper. You can literally put it in a cookie sheet with the same type of towel from the kitchen and spritz it with a spray bottle. Turn it over, same kind of thing, and you're soaking paper. Now remember, this has to be special printmaking paper that you soak. It can't just be regular paper or it'll fall apart. Oh, you didn't get to take any of that regular, wonderful printmaking paper home with you. Well, then you're gonna to have to do dry paper prints. A little more um, difficult, but we'll get through it. Don't worry. So there you go. There's another way to wet your paper. Remember my papers down here? Now what do I do? Well, I cut up an old plastic, couple plastic bags, like garbage bags. The gallon garbage bags. Put it on top because I don't want to rub through the back of the paper. I'm trying to reinvigorate and get that watercolor Caran d'Ache crayon lifted off the plate. Couple options. A roller, probably not strong enough. Bottom of a jar may be good. How about a wooden spoon? Then again, what about your regular good old spoon that you end up uh, having your cereal with in the morning? That metal spoon can work pretty well. Gonna have to give her some elbow grease here and rub away just like we were used to rubbing our linoleum print. So this is how we're doing a painted, directly on a plate, mono type, because it's one of a kind. Once that painting is rubbed off, that's pretty much all you got. You have a little bit of a ghost image and that's it. So let's see, and I'm using, trying to use this plastic bag so that I don't tear the paper underneath. Thing is, you can rub lightly or you can rub fairly hard to get a print. And it's gonna take more time than I may have, but let's just kind of peek and see what's starting to happen. Hey, look, it's already starting to come off. Fantastic, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna keep rubbing then. I can see that this is working. Awesome. This will work also with watercolors, like I said, that you paint directly on the plate. Don't forget, if you're painting with your watercolor or uh, directly on a plate or cookie tin, if it starts beating up because the surface is a little bit greasy or there's residue, add a touch of liquid soap to your paint. Or make sure you degrease that cookie sheet or that piece of plastic, remember? Little degreasing, all you do, you take a little bit of liquid soap that you use in the kitchen, dilute it with water, and use a rag or sponge or paper towel. And you're gonna get a nice degreased plate. But I didn't even have to degrease my plate, and I had recently made cookies, because we're all doing that kind of thing this time with um, our special time off from the university. So here we are in a very unusual time. Let's still have some fun, experiment, and still do some great printmaking, all right? 
Let me see. Hey, you know what? That's not too bad. You think I should pull it? Sure. For the sake of the demo, oh, I can see down below. I might like that a little bit darker. I'm going to rub a little bit more. Now notice I'm doing this fairly quickly. Take more time. That's what we have now. Get a good print. Now, does it mean this is the perfect best print? No. Maybe though, it's the start of something. Maybe you've learned something while you do it. Let's take a look. Hey, not bad. Here it is, not bad. And if I would have waited a little longer and rubbed harder, I would have gotten a more intense print. But this now, I can take it and go ahead and put it somewhere flat, let it dry. And I may want to go back into it with some hand coloring or painting or whatever. And look at this. I still have some residue on this plate. I'll bet you if I soak the paper, another piece, and put it down, rub really hard, I'd get a bit of an after image. That may give me yet one more thing to work into. So this is a wonderful way of doing our simple painted on a plate monotype using watercolors or Karandash watercolor sticks. Before we sign off, I want to show you something. I showed you all those crazy um, hot sauces and things. I ended up creating a little monotype with this by actually doing a similar type of thing. Then I did some painting directly and I even rubbed some stuff, took newspaper, went straight down and rubbed the back of it. I got some ink off from the newspaper. So I'm creating this real interesting mixed media print. And uh, what else? Oh, I don't know, since I was making tea for my stains and paints, I start playing around with some things. Put the tea bag down, put a piece of paper on it like this, put a book on it. Before you know it, I had the print, in essence, of a tea bag, but it's kind of rough. But then I start thinking, what if I glue that tea bag down? I enhance some of the background. I've got a great mixed media, in essence, monotype. So you know what? These are some examples of how to use your paints how to be at home, how to still do some sophisticated printmaking. I'm expecting to see some great things, and I really look forward to it. Signing off now. Have a great time.